hi everyone it's desiree welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me for another video today i am gonna go shopping so i am going to take out my envelopes the ones that i need to take with me for the week for some items that i need to go and purchase i'm gonna do some grocery shopping so i'll take you along on that uh, i actually need to go to a craft store to pick up some things from there um which is cool because i don't think i've done shop i haven't gone to a craft store in a bit so i think i might go to joanne to get a couple of things and i have a couple other things i need to do so i'm going to go over everything right now i'm going to share my shopping list kind of my process a little bit well not the whole thing but i have basically my list of things i need to buy um and then i do take a little pouch with me it's actually in the car with my calculator and a pen and then I will have this little list with me off to the side. So I have my list. I did my pre-planning. I'm going to do some breakfast bowls um, for the breakfast. Um, a chicken like Caesar wrap. And a beef bowl that I found a recipe for on Instagram. So that's the idea for my meals for the week. Mainly it's just during the week, work, work week, that I tried to meal plan for. And then on the, week, the weekend I either use my eating out money to go out and or I um I also eat whatever leftovers I have whatever I have or I go to my mom's and sometimes we go out to eat so weekend not too much worried about also this week for dinner on Wednesday I might be going out to eat with some friends so that's still up in the air but if not I'll have my meal prep of that beef bowl ready to go and then I always have fish in the fridge or in the freezer so um I could just pop that in the oven really quick and have like some broccoli and easy meal. But I have my whole list. I wrote down the, the recipes like for my dinner, all the ingredients I needed, for lunch, all the ingredients, breakfast, and my some of my snacks I want to pick up at Costco. Uh, and and then I highlighted all the things that I have to get. Um, all the unhighlighted, unhighlighted stuff are things I already currently have. So for instance, dinner, I do need... Um, the main components like the beef, I need carrots and cucumbers, that kind of stuff. I'm running out of garlic powder, so I need to pick that up. But I have the like the sriracha, I have rice, I have rice vinegar, sesame seeds, honey. I have that already in stock already in my pantry, so we're good. Lunch, I need all the ingredients for lunch, so I have to pick up all of those items. Breakfast, I have the main components for breakfast. I have eggs, I have hash browns, I have the little chicken, they're like the chicken sausage patties. That's already in my freezer, so I'm good. So I just need some small things, very inexpensive things to make my breakfast this week. Green onions, milk, chives, those kinds of things. So we're good. And then I have some snacks that I'm going to pick up at Costco using my Costco envelope. So dinner, lunch, breakfast, I'm going to use my grocery money. Snacks, I'm going to use my um, Costco money which I'll show, again, I'm gonna show that whole process too. So I got my list, I have all my ingredients that I need. That has helped because in the past I used to just, like I probably would have gone honestly to the store and bought another thing of rice vinegar thinking I didn't have it and I literally have two in, in the pantry. Like seriously, so bad. So making the list and, and then double checking in the fridge and the pantry and all that, that I don't have it and then highlighting what I what I need has been super helpful. All right, so I got my wallet here. I'm gonna put the envelopes that I need in here. I also have, let me see if I have any change in here. I think I already dumped everything out. Okay, because I just dumped my change in here, so that's good, good to go. Now I'm just going to go through my envelopes and pull out what I need for the week. All right, so I have some things. Let's see, I'm just gonna go down the line and see if I need it or not. Beauty. Do I need beauty? Mm, I don't think I need beauty. Okay, so beauty is going to stay in here. Clothing is going to stay Costco. I need Costco. So I'm going to take Costco out here. I'm not going to Disney, so I don't need that one. No to family. Fun, yes, because I might be going out to eat this week with some friends, and I'll use that fun envelope. For that, oh, I need gifts too. I want to buy, um, my coworker is have, she's pregnant, so I wanna make her a blanket, I, I crochet. And whenever I know of somebody have, being pregnant, I always 
make blankets for them. So I want to do that with this money. So that's what I need to get yarn at the craft store. And then I also need to buy something for my stepdad. So I'm going to use gifts. Also, I need hobbies because I use this. I want to try to see if I can find some new planner stuff from the Happy Planner at Joanne because they have some like cute Disney stuff I want to pick up and some new sticker books and a couple of other things I need. Okay, holiday decor, home decor, no. Household, I don't need anything for household. I'm just going to take Target because if I go to Target, I'll just spend from Target if I need to. So that one's good. Okay, so I think that's everything. I'm just going to double check in here really quick. I don't think I need anything from here because this one's not really the one I pull from during the week. I mean, the only one would have been furniture, but I'm not going to go buy furniture. Everything else is kind of just here to be here. Oh, treat yourself, but I'm not. I'm saving that. We'll keep that in there. Okay, so these are all the envelopes that I'm planning on using so far that I think I'm going to be using for the week. So let me put this in here. Okay, so these are all going to go with me to the little shopping adventure I'm going on I guess uh, but yeah I'm gonna take you along I'll show like little clips um please be kind you know I I don't know sometimes I make content and some people just feel the need to be rude for no reason um but for the most part everybody's pretty kind but yeah let's be nice in the comments um this is very new content for me I know people have been enjoying this like the vlogging ish kind of stuff I'm still like learning and finding the best way to do this editing wise too this is very different from what i edit my videos are very simple to edit and this does take a long a lot more time for me to produce so yes i'm, I'm getting better at it i feel and thankfully it seems like you all are enjoying it so i'm going to take you along now for this next shopping trip week and i'll take you along and then at the end I'm going to show how I take care of my envelopes after I'm done spending from them. two things from groceries and then the rest is from Costco and then I'm gonna be reimbursed for this from work. So that is the haul and the breakdown. So 38 and 14. Okay, so 40 at a Costco. And I'm just gonna put that with grocery money to pay for all of it. To pay for all of this. Except for that. That's going on my card. So, I think I've explained this before, but just in case anybody's new here, when it comes to my Costco envelope, I like to buy things that I can use over a, more than a week. And then, like, the components for my meal planning, those come out of my uh, grocery uh, grocery envelope. So, things like grapes and... Um, like snack kind of stuff I'll do out of Costco envelope 
uh, like the, the nuts, that garlic dip. I'm really excited to use that because you put that on like everything. And um, just things like that. So the only thing that I took out of groceries was the chicken and the lettuce, the romaine. And that actually had Caesar dressing, so I actually don't need to buy Caesar dressing anymore. And I, I do want to get Parmesan cheese because I don't, I like my, I like cheese. So I'm going to buy some of that, but at least I don't, I don't have to buy the Caesar dressing. Um, but I did spend $51.83 total. I paid with a 60, I got $8 back. And then the pastries I'm getting reimbursed for that from work. So I just used my card and I did a separate purchase for that. So that way I could just easily give it to accounting and they can give me my money. Um, but yeah, that's my Costco trip. I'm going to go to Walmart next. was not on the list but it's going on the list so 418 okay so I've got most of what I needed here's my tool and there's the haul here is my purchase I spent about 30 72 and I still have a couple things left because I came really late to shop for this and they didn't have everything so I need to go to another store just to pick up a couple more things but I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow I'm not gonna do it today but I am kind of hungry and I know since it's late I'm not gonna go and cook anything since I have a lot of things to unload so I'm just gonna go get something quick to eat and I'll, I'll be using my eating out money to do that Okay, so here's my haul. I'm going to take everything out, but that's kind of how I brought it up. And then I did get some Taco Bell because I was hungry and I really don't want to cook because I have to prep at least my lunch and my breakfast. So don't have a lot of time, but you know, it is what it is. So I did get some Taco Bell. I spent $10. I usually get stuff from the value meal. Um, I think the most expensive thing I got was my drink. So... Yeah, I spent $10. It was actually less than that, but I rounded up just so that way I didn't have to deal with change. So I spent that out of eating out envelope. Like I said, value meal stuff. So I just got chips and nacho cheese, a potato taco, and no, potato taco and a bean burrito. It's it's, it's simple stuff there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to eat. And then I will unpack all of this so you can see everything that I got. I still have a couple things to get, but I'm not... I'm done shopping today, so I will pick up the other things and probably tomorrow. So here's my grocery haul. All of these items I'm going to use to make my wraps, the chicken Caesar wraps. So I have all of that for, and that's going to be my lunch, my lunch for the week. Um, and this is going to be part of my dinners, just some ground beef and some seasoning and stuff. Um, lemons also for... I think this recipe too. I don't know. I got the recipe off of Instagram. Um, yeah. Oh, this. I saw this at Walmart. And I used to go to Subway a lot because of their chipotle sauce. I would put it on everything. Everything. So I'm hoping it still tastes like that. I haven't had it in a while. So I'm hoping it does because I want to put this on my breakfast bowls. Because I think that'll be nice. I used to get the breakfast sandwiches and put this on that. So... 
that's the plan for that. And then this, oh my goodness, I've been looking for this forever. My sister got this. It went to her Costco like over a month ago. It's just a garlic dip and you can put this on anything and everything. It's a, like lemony and garlicky. It says dip it, spread it, sauce it. So yeah, you can put it on chicken, on vegetables, on all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to do that. Some of these, I got these because it's a nice snack. And then I love these cashew clusters. Those are my favorite. I've just been snacking on those. And then I have some grapes to snack on too. And that's about it when it comes to my meals. So I got my breakfast, lunch, and dinners all set with this stuff. And also stuff that I already currently have in my fridge. And I still have somebody left over because I need to get some more things for this ground beef recipe. And then I'm good to go for the week. Okay, so I found a quiet place to go to. Hobbies, I'm gonna pay use for this. Using Hobbies, and I have 30. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna close. I have 30, but I'm gonna pull two from Buffer to make 32. Okay, so that's 32 to pay for those two items. And then for the yarn, that's 22, so that's coming out of gifts and again I don't have enough so I'm pulling two out of buffer to make up for that okay so I have all the cash and now I can go and pay here's my final receipt it was $46.75 I had pulled for $54 to pay for all this so I had more than enough and actually that money this extra I'm just putting back in buffer since I just had it just in case I needed it so it will just go back into this envelope and if I need it again it'll be there. Just wanted to mention I always overshoot when it comes to the money that I'm going to be putting um a, like putting together to pay uh so I always add more in tax because tax I always forget what the tax is in each city so for us here yeah, there's a few different there's a state there's a county there's a district tax and it all totals out to like maybe either eight or eight eight ish or something i don't know it's always different in each city you're shopping in so i always put tax for nine percent here because i don't think nine percent tax i don't think there's anything that high so that kind of covers my bases and i'd rather have more money with me when i go to the register so i don't have to fumble through all my envelopes and stuff to try, try to get more and then I can just pay with what I have in my hand just makes the process a little bit easier for me so that's kind of what I do when I have when I need to spend from different envelopes so yeah got a few things excited to start on this blanket I got this for my co-worker because she's having a little boy but I know she wants more of like a neutral blanket which I like I like making little baby blankets so I'm going to use this. This yarn feels really, really nice. So this feels like butter. So yeah, this one's a really good one. It's called Rainy Day. And they were having a promotion for buy three, get one free. So yeah, pretty good.
40. So we're ordering food at work. We're gonna get some epic wings. The site isn't working, so my coworker is gonna call it in, and I'm just gonna and she's gonna pick it up, and I'm gonna pay her in cash. I'm just gonna. This is gonna be 14. I'll hand it to you. Thank you. Got my lunch. Got some wings, some veggie sticks, and then it comes with some bread on the side. And I'm just in our conference room, and this is usually where I come to have lunch and I just, you know, watch some YouTube or something on here. But yeah, that's going to be it for my eating out. I don't think I'm going to be eating out anymore <laughs> this week because I don't have very much money left in that envelope. But yeah, that's the other thing that I bought. I did Taco Bell and then the wings. All right, so that is all the shopping for this week. I think I filmed this over the course of like the whole week because I didn't go shopping on every single day, like everything at once. So that was just way too much shopping for one day. Uh, but I, I think I filmed from like Sunday to Friday and I'm posting on Friday, so yeah. Fun, fun, fun. But I'm gonna go in my envelopes and just fix the trackers because the trackers are all messed up. My wallet always becomes a little bit of a mess. So I need to clean it up. I have all this change in here that I need to take out. I have a good amount of change. I've been collecting it here. This is almost ready to go to the bank to just put into savings. So I will have to let you know how much actually, I think I will. In my next cash planning video, yeah, cash planning, I will um, let you know how much, I don't know, maybe I'll start like a savings tracker for change that's going back to the bank. I think actually that would be a cool idea. So that way I can track it and then you can all see the progress with that, like how just collecting the change amounts, like how it, it does accumulate pretty quick. Since I usually don't use the change to pay unless it's like a couple of cents and I don't want them to have to like give me 97 cents or some like ridiculous amount like that. But I usually like getting the change and I usually pay in the, um, if I can, I can do the self-checkout and it just spits out the money. Sometimes, oh, Vons, if you pay at the register, like the tellers don't even, the, the yeah, the cashiers don't even have to give you change because they have like a little machine that spits out the change and they just give you the cash. So in those instances, like I don't mind getting the full amount of change and then just sticking it in this pile here. So yeah, I'll have to let you know how much I've already collected and that way I can track the progress of like how long it takes for me to get like certain amounts just to see how much I'm actually saving by just doing the change because I think that'll be cool to see. And I know a lot of people ask about what I do with that change. So that way I can share that whole process too and like direct them to a video that I'll have already on my channel. So that's always nice to have. All right, so I'm gonna go through my envelopes and just clean these up a little bit. Um, okay, I have receipts. Definitely save your receipts because you can take pictures of them, scan them into the Fetch app, collect points. Usually each receipt is 25 points. Um, they used to do like a game, which is cool, but now you have to play another game and it's, I feel like it's more like to to get you to buy stuff and I don't like that. But as long as you scan and take pictures of your receipts, then you can get 25 points. And sometimes there's bonuses, like if you check, sometimes when I buy the Hidden Valley packets of ranch, because I like to sometimes make the ranch, those will be like 200 points. So you get more points if you um, scan the things that they want you to scan. Um, so definitely check that out too. But I've had people use my code which is thank you if you've used it because you get points i get points and that really really helps out and then the points you can turn into once you get enough you, they will turn into rewards and you can redeem them for gift cards so right now i currently have a ten dollar gift card to sephora that i'm going to be using soon so you'll see that but yes don't don't throw your receipts even your receipts if you get a receipt at the um, the gas pump when you get gas, uh, for restaurants, anywhere, any receipt, it'll it'll accept it as long as it's within two weeks of you using it or 
have having um, purchased from it. I think it's two weeks. And then um, you'll get 20, at least 25 points for it. So yeah, have receipts. I have a little bit of grocery money left. I have about $9 left in groceries. If, if this is left at the end of the week, that'll roll over, which is basically tomorrow. Um, that'll roll over into Costco. Nothing in coffee, of course. I have some money and buffer left. Okay, so these are the ones that I really want to focus on because I need to fix the trackers on these. So my wallet, I don't have to worry about those because they don't have trackers in them, but I do have trackers in these. All right, so Target, I did spend from Target. I bought, so people always ask me about my Target envelope. Like, what do I, what do I spend it on? Because I have categories at Target that I can spend anything there from, like, I have a category, like I have categories for household. I have categories for clothing, like all the things that I could buy from there. I have an envelope for it, but honestly, Target's just whatever I want to buy there. Even if I have an envelope for it, which that's basically what I did. I used my Target envelope to buy some towels, some new bath towels. I've been wanting to get some new ones. And then I bought those Olipop drinks, which by the way are gross. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like Stevia and I don't know why I thought it didn't have it in it, but the instant I tasted it, I was like, this is disgusting. And I couldn't drink them. So I wasted about what, $6 on those drinks. Um, Cause I thought, I thought one of them was gonna taste like Dr. Pepper, which I love. And then I was, oh, that, that was gross. And then um, they tasted like, I don't know, it tasted, remind, reminded me of this candy from like back in the day. That was gross and just gave me that vibe and that memory and so it made it even worse and then the watermelon one i was hoping i was hoping that one because that one sounded really good and refreshing and it was gross so i mean if you like that kind of stuff some people like stevia i just can't i can't do it um so yeah didn't go well but that's okay i tried i just see people talking about them all the time and i thought it would be good but it's just not for me it's not for me at all um i like the um bubbly drinks or there's another drink i drink it doesn't have any, like, it barely has flavor because it doesn't have any sugar or not, or sweeteners, but I like it. <laughs> I'd rather have bland taste than like that stevia taste. All right, enough of that. <laughs> so today is the fifth. So I'm just gonna write the new totals. I have 10, 15, $16 over here. So that means I spent 40. Yeah, I spent 40 minus. $40, 16. Okay, so now that is correct. So the towels are good. And so yeah, something like snacks too, like I bought those drinks. I wouldn't have wanted to take that out of um, grocery money because like that was just a one-time thing and I'm glad I didn't waste my grocery money on that because I ended up just not drinking it. So it kind of worked out. I took it out of Target. Only my Target envelope suffered from that. Uh, hobbies. Okay, so I bought I bought a new sticker book, which I'm really excited about because it's Snow White and it's so cute from the Happy Planner. I've been eyeing that book, and I'm so glad I was able to find it. She actually, the person working in that area was literally putting that stuff out. Um, so I went just like at the perfect time, which was really nice. Excited I found that book, and then I bought some little blades for my paper trimmer. So I have 20, one, two, three, four, $24. Oh, I fixed this one already. I did that, I forgot. I did this in my cash unstuffing because I had to, but that's okay, it's fixed. It's $24 and I have $24 here. Okay, next is gifts. So my coworker is pregnant and I'm gonna make her a blanket. I like to um, crochet. I've dabbled in knitting, but crochet is just more it's just easier for me and I can just like mindlessly do it and then make a really pretty blanket, a baby blanket. So I'm going to make her a baby blanket um, for her baby. He's not coming until oh, August, September, summer. I think it's September. I think it's September. And so there's time, but I'm always, whenever I make blankets, I always wait till the last minute and then I'm scrambling. And if you've ever made blankets, like the, my least favorite part of like the crocheting and all, like doing anything with yarn is weaving in the ends because sometimes I do a lot of color changes. This one, I'm just gonna make solid one color, which is nice, but I always do like color changes and I have tons of ends to weave in and oh, it's a mess. 
<laughs> but I'm gonna do a really cute design, but all one color, which would be really nice because she likes neutral. So I bought some yarn and they had that three, buy three, get one free. So I used that promo to buy it and it was like about 20 bucks. Um, it was about 22. I used some buffer money, I think that's what I did. So I still have a hundred left in gifts. Fun. I didn't, okay. I didn't spend fun. I was planning on going to dinner with my friends. Um, but one of them right now is currently in escrow and she had to cancel because, you know, that stuff is when you, when you need to be somewhere, you need to be somewhere and she's trying to get all that stuff finished up. So we're rescheduling to next week. So hopefully next week will be better. We shall see. But if not, like I'll be using this probably next week. So I was planning on using this to, uh, to spend when we go out to eat. This fun money is for like more um like the nicer sit down restaurants so i can go have like sushi because you know that's expensive or like korean barbecue love korean barbecue we're actually getting just regular barbecue like um texas kind of barbecue so so yeah we're gonna do that hopefully next week and then i did go to costco i bought some stuff there i actually have a good amount in here i bought just a few things from costco so Mainly snack kind of stuff because I like to use this money to stock up on my snacks because those will last me a while. Except for those those little cashew things that I showed. That, I've been, <laughs> those are so good. I love them so much. I'll just eat those whenever I get a little hungry. I'll have like a couple and then it's like good. And I've been snacking on those and like grapes and stuff like that. So just something I can snack on that's not chips and cookies. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. So Costco, I have left 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 dollars left in Costco. So my phone. Oh, yes, I think I thought I wasn't filming. So let me do that again. Sorry. So 50, 60, 65, 6, 7, 8, 69 dollars left in Costco. So I spent 40. I bought the nuts, I bought the grapes with Costco money. I didn't use my grocery money for this. Oh, and I bought that garlic dip stuff. That stuff, I love that stuff so much. You put it on anything, your chicken, your veggies. I put it on a baked potato, like mixed it in because it's like garlicky, lemony, like whipped garlic. It, if you like garlic, you have to get that stuff. It's so good. Um, my new favorite thing. It really like that I put it on my rotisserie chicken, the one I bought at Costco, and it just like elevated it flavor wise, which was amazing. So yeah, excited for that. Oh, and at Target, I bought some those yogurt drinks. Again, I didn't realize they had stevia, so I don't like those either. So I'm gonna give them away to somebody. <laughs> I just don't like that stuff. Okay, so. All right, I'm gonna put these back in my wallet. All right, so I have, uh, oh, okay. So I like to put these in alphabetical order just because it makes it a little bit easier. So have fun, fun, F, G, and then I have hobbies next. And Target is last. Okay. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed coming along while I shopped. I know a lot of people have been enjoying watching these videos. Especially since I don't really... I, I get a lot of comments saying that they don't see content like this out there. And it's nice to see people spending from the envelope. So I just like showing that too. Because I wasn't seeing that kind of content. And I, I felt like there was a lack of it here. So I'm glad that I'm able to at least, you know, take the time and and take you along while I shop for the week. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to do this like every week. So I'll have one, one of these videos up a week. So that's exciting. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more of these, and if you want to check out the other ones I put up, um, definitely hit that subscribe button. So that way you won't miss any videos. I do put out content every single day. So there's always something on my channel to watch. But I hope you all enjoyed watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.